Okay, so we have our test set up in its full configuration, ready to go. It's charged with refrigerant. Over here we have our 5 horse compressor motor that's running our compressor. And the compressor is running to the condenser and suction from the dryer. The evaporator is housed in, in this housing. And you can sort of kind of see it in there. Now, over here, I have a circuit hooked up to a battery to run the blower and kick in the compressor clutch. So just running off a 12 volt battery and that explained my heat transfer test. I'm using equipment from work. It's basically this Fluke Hydro Series 2 has 10 temperature detectors and I have three running to the inlet air. They're inside of here. Hanging in there. I have three running to the outlet air because this will give me my heat transfer across the evaporator of the air. And I'm also taking temperature readings on the outlet and inlet of the refrigerant so I can find the log mean temperature difference. I have two foam fans running over the condenser because normally in a vehicle the fans would be running and these are probably moving about as much air as they need to. And I'll be able to switch the compressor off if the pressure gets too high. And we'll be able to read the pressure off the manifold, which is right here. And the refrigerant comes in here. We have high pressure, low pressure side. We charge the refrigerant through here. It obviously goes through the low pressure side. And it goes. So. We'll, for a little example of how, how the motor works, we'll have the motor start. And then you can hear the compressor kick on when I hit the switch. So that is our test setup, and I'm ready to take data now.